Good day to everyone. God gave us a nice day, another day to be blessed by His message. The Word of God today is found in the book of Acts, chapter 20, verse 35. It says, Ye ought to support the weak and to remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how He said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. The title of my devotional today is Plants Live to Give. I know these days, everyone seems to love plants. And I noticed the subject of gardening is sprouting up everywhere. Let's talk more about plants for today. We love to cultivate and care for them. And it is normal because we are designed to take care of the earth, to take care of other creatures, and of course, to take care of each other. Cultivation is rooted in our beginning and continual thriving in God's garden. But how do we benefit from it? What do plants give us? It has been said that because of selfish hearts, human beings are the only form of life that live completely for themselves. But all other forms of nature gives as well as get. Consider plants, for example. They exist almost totally to give. In order for a plant to produce, it has to have water. It needs water to transport minerals from the roots to the leaves, to use in combination with carbon dioxide in the leaves, to produce and to transport food down to the roots to keep them healthy. And so, without water, the plant dies with the most of the water it receives. A large oak tree is a very large tree which can consume for about 300 gallons of water each day. And that's certainly a lot of water. But the amazing truth is that the oak tree uses only about one quart to sustain itself. And one quart is not even a gallon. And it all returns all the rest of the water to the air. Have you ever noticed that the temperature is cooler where a lot of plants grow together? And if you've been to CPAC, the temperature here is cool because of the trees. It is always cooler in the woods than in the open country. And if you walk through a healthy cornfield, even on a hot summer day, the air feels cooler among the corn stalks. And this process is called transpiration, and that makes the air cooler. The plant requires water to stay healthy and it needs water to produce flowers and fruit. But through transpiration, plants put back into the air most of the water they drink. It is very interesting because plants literally sweat and the moisture escaping from their pores evaporates into the air around them. And that moisture around the plant is what makes the air cooler. One acre cornfield, which is equivalent to 4,047 square meters, gives back about 300,000 gallons. That's enough water to form a lake of water five feet deep. That's how amazing the plants are, created by our amazing God. Every plant is an example of how much more God gives us than we can never hope to return to Him. Each plant is also a living example of how our lives can reflect the character of our Creator, Jesus, who said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. May we always be like a plant who is not selfish to give back what they receive. We should always remember that God's blessing equips us to give to others and giving should be an ongoing activity. Friends, this simply tells us that we should make it as our lifestyle because God loves a cheerful giver. I hope you were blessed by the message of God today. Once again, let me read to you the verse found in the book of Acts, chapter 20, verse 35. It says, Ye ought to support the weak and to remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. God bless everyone.